After more than two years behind bars in Iraq, this man says he's seen the worst of both American and Iraqi detention facilities. They made us take off all our clothes, even our underwear. They walked us in front of all the cells, about 50 or 60 cells, in front of all the detainees, in front of the soldiers, of the female soldiers. He does not want us to show his face, but allows us to use an alias, Abu Ahmed. Today, he works for the Iraqi government, trying to rebuild his life. On October 1, 2003, U.S. troops arrested him at his home. The next day, he was put into a cell at the infamous Abu Ghraib prison. We tracked him down to hear his testimony. Years on, it's still difficult to talk about his experiences. We're not allowed to sit for a couple of days. I spent two months at the cell block, and for 32 days, I was without clothes. Even if we wanted to pray, we had to pray naked. Abu Ahmed says the abuse struck at the core of values held sacred within the Arab world. They brought us female underwear. They tried to force us to wear it. We refused to, so we were beaten up. Documents, including the bracelet issued by the Americans and his Red Cross card, confirm he was held in Abu Ghraib. A spokesman for the U.S. military told us the documents he showed us seem to match information that a detainee would have. The spokesman added, quote, It is likely that he was a detainee based on what you provided, and it's no secret that some detainees were abused at Abu Ghraib. His testimony to us is a reminder of what the world would later see in the now infamous images from the prison. One day, they brought three or four detainees, maybe more. They were about 40 years old or older. They took off their clothes, forced them to climb on top of each other, and started taking pictures. This is the case that was shown in the news. I saw it with my own eyes. They humiliated them and returned them to the camps as a message to the others. After six months in Abu Ghraib, he was transferred to another U.S. facility, the sprawling Camp Buka near Basra, which at one point held more than 20,000 detainees. After 12 months in Camp Buka, he only saw a few months of freedom. Four or five months later, I was arrested again by the Iraqi forces. I stayed for seven months, and in those seven months, I have seen more than what I have seen in about two years in American detention. He tells me while in Iraqi detention, among other things, he was beaten with cables and water pipes and had a cement block attached to his genitals. The Iraqi government says it treats all prisoners according to international law. How do you feel when you remember what happened, or when you look back and you see these photos? I will never forgive anyone, even though I am unable to do anything about it. I will never forgive. If it wasn't for the war, Abu Ahmed says, he would never have to have spent more than two years of his life in jail. After being through everything that you've been through, I mean, is it difficult for you when you see Americans here in Iraq, when you look at Americans, when you... I can't hold you responsible for what they have done to me. You have good people there, better than the people who hurt our country. But at the end, the American people are responsible for everything that happened here. Abu Ahmed has never been charged with a single crime. Cal Perry, CNN, Baghdad.